Hey there, it's Kylie Menz here from KylieMenz.com. Today I just want to very quickly show you how to set up a Facebook app on your fan page. Why would you want to do it? It's a fantastic way to basically market something, whether it's one of your products, whether it's a free video, um, whether it's a, a specific capture page for one of your affiliate programs, anything you want to do, but it gets interaction on your um, fan page but also it means you can use that Facebook tab when you start to do some Facebook um, paper advertising. Now I'm not going to go into that today, but that is also one way of marketing your fan page. Um, Facebook love it when you do paper clip um, advertising, but you keep it connected to your fan page rather than taking it offline to an external capture page. So just want to show you today, this is my page, um, Kylie Menz's Lifestyle Direction page. You can see here, I've already got a couple of tabs, this is what I'm talking about here. Um, you always get a standard photos tab up and a like tab, but these are ones I've created in the past. So you'll see marketing tools, for example. Um, if I just click on that just to show you one, this goes straight to my Pure Leverage um, package. It takes a little bit to come up. Now, as obviously it's my page, I automatically come up in admin mode rather than visitor mode. So let me just switch that over to show you. So if you clicked on the, li the link, this would now show you my capture page for Pure Leverage. Um, and here you go, you can capture people's details. They have to sign in exactly as you would if you're going to an external capture. Now, so let's go back to uh, my page. Now what I want to show you today is briefly how to create one, um, especially if you have a capture page. It's slightly more complicated if you don't have a capture page and you want to create one. You need to know your HTML, which I'm not going to go into today. I'm going to show you one that's done directly from another capture page that you can insert. So I'm just going to really show you how to do it. You can then go and add all the details. Now one thing you have to do um, first is if you don't already have it, you have to go up here and type in HTML and see the static iframe um, that comes up if you click on that. Now I've already uploaded this so you don't need to upload it but basically what you do is you add it to the page, you click on the page which you want. Now I've got a couple of pages but I've already got it on my lifestyle direction page so normally that would show up, you click it and then it takes you through to the page. So that's one thing you need to do before you start because that is what actually creates your pages. Now, once that's done, what should happen is down in this box here, you will get a welcome one. Um, you'll get a blank one that just says welcome. Now, I'm going to create one just to show you. Bear with me a second, and I'll just get a um, blank one. I'm going to add another tab. This is what you have to do if you've already got it downloaded. So you add tabs. So I'm going to add my fourth tab. Um, click on the lifestyle direction page again and then add that to the fourth tab. So now what should happen is what would happen if you don't have that already and I should now have a blank one so that says welcome here. So this is the one that I can now play with. Now to work on it all you have to do is click on it this little button that says edit and then you have the option to choose apps to get started. Now this is your HTML app. This is if you were using obviously HTML to copy or design a page. So you could have maybe designed a capture page within Optimize Press, for example, copy the HTML, bring it across, and then insert it into Use That App. Um, you can drag and drop also copy pages. Um, you can upload an image um, for public, basically, if you want something specific. Um, but the one that we're going to do today is using a website. So we click on use this app. Now the reason I'm using a website is because I'm just going to um, demonstrate very quickly if I was to put up another Pure Leverage just to show you. So I'm going to go to my Pure Leverage screen, log into my account. should have done this earlier. And we have a number of different capture pages that you can use. So just to show you for ease of demonstration, okay, let's try this one. So we will copy this link here. So you can do this for any of your capture pages. So long as you've got a link to your capture page, you can then come back, you can insert it here, and then you can basically now what you'll probably have to do is alter the view of it. But let's yeah, so this is what happens, it becomes too big. So let's go back to edit. 
and then what happens, see this remove scroll bars, that allows you then to change the width. So you can bring it down, you can change the height up and down, and there we go, she's a bit more in focus now. Um, and that means it, it shows up better so you get the full instant access from here. So let's um, preview that again. And that's much better now. The whole thing is on one page. Um, you can see the image behind it and obviously you can see that you have to click here and into your details. So you go back to edit tab and then we save and publish. Now what happens then is you move back to your page. So I go back to my lifestyle direction page. And you'll now see in my tab, I'm going to click down to show it here, when I click on this welcome tab now, it goes through, should go through straight to, if I'm in visitor mode, straight to the capture page that's already set up and done for you. Um, so you can amend that slightly as well and you can still adjust and go back and adjust and play with it. I'm not going to today, but I just wanted to run through this quickly. So that's how easy it is to set up a welcome tab on Facebook um, with a capture page. Um, and like I said, you can use that capture page now for advertising when you're doing paperclip. Now one thing you can go back and do is you go back to your page. Now this is the probably the slightly trickiest bit. Um, if you go to edit page, edit settings, and then go into apps. This comes up with your tab. Now this is your picture. So what you can do here is edit settings. You can put a custom tab image in. Now I'm not going to play around with that while we're on here today because the only annoying thing with this it has to be 111 by 74. Um, so you have to resize your pictures first. So let me just I'm just going to put the free video one in again just because that's already been resized. Just so I don't have to mess around and resize any other pictures or whatever. So that's how you put, put it in there. Um, and then you can go back to your page again. And it will show you the picture. What I should have done first was change the name of it first. But you'll see now I should have two get free videos. And I do down here. So again, what I also want to do, which I forgot to do first, because you should do it first before you change the picture and can't get back in, is go back to your apps again, edit settings here, and I'm going to give it a name. So I might name that says, um, what's something about pure leverage, 100% um, commissions, something like that you could do. You could do the same thing for Empower Network. Save that. Go OK. And then now if I go back to my page, oops, I could have just clicked a few page then, it should come up with the name underneath it. Yeah, so now this says 100% commissions get free video. So that's a really quick way to show you how to set up a um, app on your Facebook. So you can now start to use them, market with it. People do actually click through. Um, I've had quite a few clicks just from my get, get free video here where I've done my recruit like crazy one. And this is obviously our step-by-step -step form there. So you can go into very detail. This is a HTML one we created and we copied it across because obviously this is quite an in-depth capture page. Um, so you can see that they can instantly access, get the video, everything plays. Um, and then you've got to put your name, email address and off you go from there. So it's a great way to use a Facebook, um, get some more fans to your page. You can use it for advertising, like I said. And Facebook love you having this on their site because it means that any traffic that you get goes to that capture page, but it goes via Facebook. So it means you're not externally advertising. So I hope that helps. That's a very quick outline on how to set up a Facebook tab on your fan page. It's Kylie Menz here from KylieMenz.com.